it is okay to experiment with chickens, different ways of raising them, but sometimes before you get your farm, you might actually get them, so you can experiment with them to see if you want more on your farm. So if you come really attached to them, it's okay. But if you're moving 200 miles, the frick are you gonna do? The first thing is to actually get a look at how long this thing is. So if you want to do this, a simple way to do this is to go onto Google Maps, type your current location, and then type the location you're gonna head to, and then click directions. They'll show you how long the drive is. And chances are, if it's over eight hours, you can probably still take your chickens with you. But you will have to leave early in the morning to be able to get on the road. If you're moving places that'll take m multiple days, there are several things to remember about this. You can still take your chickens with you, but you're gonna probably wanna rent out an RV to be able to do that. And those cost actual money, which I'm pretty sure you don't wanna be spending if you're moving to a new property. So if you wanna really take your chickens with you, a great way to do this is to just get the trip over with quickly. Or you can even take, or you can even like hire somebody to move your chickens for you. But if you're moving them like 20 hours, then chances are, <laughs> you're probably going to have a lot of issues trying to find someone that's going to do that. But there is probably someone that will help do that. Now it's time to set up the area that you're going to do it with. So I'd highly recommend taking two vehicles if you're moving. A great way to do that is by taking one of them by putting all your essentials in them and taking another one with no more than two or three people in them so that we have plenty of space for your chickens. So how do you package your chickens up so that we can put them in your car? You're gonna wanna separate special needs chickens first. Here's the thing about special needs chickens. Because if you put them on medications, you can't have your eggs for 30 days after, after your medication for your chicken's due date expires. So you have to wait another 30 days. So if your medication's expired on May, th I don't know, 14th, and you're moving today, you're probably wanna, gonna wanna keep them in their little box until June 14th. And chances are you're probably not gonna be probably already gonna be there so you might want to separate them out a little bit so that way you can separate them so get a few dog kennels don't have to be necessarily big in fact you can use cat crates that worked perfectly while transporting sprinkles to the hospital and yes if you're new to this channel this is what sprinkles looked like and she did die on May 29th of this year so not very long ago so yeah if you're gonna transport them you always need to make sure you have your essentials set up I'm going to show you how to set up the essentials. Unfortunately, there's nothing I could have showed you to help you understand that, so I'm going to make a little animation here for you. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get the dog kennel that you're going to use to help transport your chickens. You want to make sure that it fits. So once you've got a fitting one, now is the time to do what you need to do. So first of all, place newspaper or shavings. Shavings recommended onto the ground. So now you have a nice area for your chickens to relax in, because if you're transporting them 20, 30 minutes, you don't really need shavings, but if you're going to transport them hours, you're going to want shavings. Now you also want to make sure you're, there's essentials in there. Food and water is a must for any chicken, so you're going to want to put food and water. And if you're bringing many chickens, you might want to put many of those. But remember, water could spill at any instant, so always remember to make sure your water and food is secured. So that way you don't have to worry about if you like hit like a pothole on the highway, because chances are, if you're going to be traveling eight hours to a new home, chances are there's probably going to be a few potholes you will hit on the highway. So that way everything is there. And you might also want to pull over on the highway and feed them some treats. Best way is to put some watermelon and other stuff in a cooler, and then bring stuff that's dry, so like non-perishable foods, with you for the trip, and feed them on a multiple of occasions. So pull over every two or three hours to feed them treats, because being on the road is stressful. So you're on the final stretch of the trip there. What are you going to do now? So now is the time to start giving your chickens hints. Talk to them, lightly saying, hey, I'm going to get you. You're going to be here any day now, any second now. So if you're like on the final like two or three hours of the trip, that's the final stretch, especially if you're taking a nine hour trip to get to your new home. So a great way to do this is to be able to feed your chickens constantly. Instead of every hour, feed them every 30 minutes. So now that you're on the final trip, they know that they're ending it. And be sure to make sure that on these final hours, they'll probably be tired, that they have an area to set up a camp in for the night. So a nice area to roost. A great way is to get a small piece of two by four and then cut that up and attach it to a side. And your chickens will love that. So yeah, that's what you're gonna wanna do in the last few hours of your trip. Now you've arrived, you're tired, but you still need to set up. So 
here's what you should do. Firstly, set them up in the area you want to set them up in, whether it's fenced in or not. You want to set them up there, but you don't want to let them out the very next day. You're like, that actually comes as a surprise to you. But here, let me explain. In their new area, they're going to be, they're still going to be adopting to their coop because they haven't been in that for nine hours. And well, they're going to be stressed. So you might want to keep them in your chicken coop for hours upon hours. And by hours upon hours, I mean, I mean 48 to 72 hours or two to three days beforehand. And during this time period, now's the time to check for chicken predators in the area. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up a trail camera. Most of them are under 20 or $30. You're gonna set them up around the area so you can scan the area for anything that could possibly be a threat. So you can find amazing areas to place your chickens. Congratulations, now you're done. Now it's time to release the cluck in. Now here's some old footage of me doing just that.